Hi, this is Kenny Webb with Frameworks Manufacturing. We're going to run through the installation of a barn-style sliding door. For this application, we're using a Type 2 side light transom frame. The application would also be similar with a Type 1 frame. The sliding door track needs to be properly reinforced. With this application, that's with wood blocking by others located above the ceiling tiles. The sliding door track comes with two rollers, two brakes, and two stops already installed in the track. It is important to note to install the sliding door cover on the side facing the frame prior to installing the sliding door track. To install the sliding door cover, simply slide the top lip into place and then snap on the bottom portion. The sliding door track is secured to the reinforcement above the ceiling tiles. The screws are driven in from the underside of the track. You can see the sliding door tracks butted all the way up to the frame. The rod at the base of the rollers is what attaches to the latch at the top rail of the sliding door. This is a view of the top rail of the door. This latch engages the rod on the roller and locks it into place. Here we have a view of the bottom rail. This is where the door guide attaches to the frame, slides into the track at the bottom rail, and slides back and forth. The sliding door guide mounts to the base of the vertical mullion through the two pre-drilled holes. Notice the door guide sits flush against the floor. Lift the door and place it onto the guide. Lift the door slightly and engage the roller into the latch. Then lock the latch in place. Notice there is an adjustment up or down by a quarter inch. Position the door so that it overlaps the mullions of the frame. Then slide the stop over to the roller. Slide the door open and tighten the screw in the stop. The screw at the top of the brake allows the brake to sit at an angle so that the rollers will slowly come to a stop. Be sure to install the brake so that that screw is facing the top of the track. Position the angled screw next to the stop on the inside of the track. Then screw up through the bottom of the track. After adjusting the second stop and installing the second brake, install the outside sliding door cover the same way you did the inside. With the outside cover in place, now install the two end caps using the same technique. So here's our installed Frameworks barn style sliding door. Thanks for watching the video.